I'm Jen. This is Drug Monkeys. Welcome. How's it going? It's going real well. Yeah. How about you? I'm great. I'm excited. I'm very excited about this. <sighs> so it's our old friend, Risky Whiskey. Whiskey. This is episode three that we've had with Risky Whiskey um, because this is an age your own whiskey kit. And in our first episode with it, we just tried it as pure moonshine. And it was good. I think. Real strong. <laughs> it was very strong. Yes. Um, and the second one, we aged it for uh, like three months or something, and um, we were real drunk and ate the wood, chewed on the wood chips. Mm -hmm. And um, now that was last in August, so we've been aging it now for a long time. Oh, wait, that was August? I think it was. Oh, okay. So uh, that has been a good then. That's for that's been nine months that we've been aging it. How long does it say to age it? Is there a record? Oh, I think as long as you want. <clears throat> but I was satisfied with the taste before, but we wanted to keep it going. So let's. Okay, so here's the bottle. What's gonna go into? Right. Okay. Is there anything in there? It started off as 125 proof. We're gonna add water to it. To um, oh yeah. To, uh, look at this. I'm gonna add a million dollars to it. Oh, oh. got a funnel. It's worth a million dollars. Also, <laughs> oh, um, double funnel. I love the kit. Double fun. Okay, so here it is. Oh my god. It's like half of it is gone. I feel like when we poured it in here last, and we can reference the tape for whatever, it was like to here. So this much is absorbed into the wood. I think that we were flinging it on each other at the last one. <laughs> yeah, I think we were too. <laughs> this is like, oh boy, there's like barely any whiskey in this. It's just all wood chips. Should I shake it? I just did. It looks like coffee. I love coffee. I do too. However, I don't think it tastes like coffee. I'm just, I'm real... I'm very nervous about this. I was about to ask, like, how are, tell me about what it's like going in. Uh, how are you feeling? My feelings are that unless it's coffee or, like, Coke, if you are so inclined, uh, drinking something that looks like this that also has wood in it is foolish behavior. <laughs> That's what it seems like to me. So, I'm a little excited and also I'm ex scared. Yes, I'm excited and scared. Oh my god. Okay. It kind of attacks your face. Really? Oh. Oh, it does. It like a cloud of it just sits on your nose for a second. I can breathe now. My sinuses are wide open. So I think we're gonna need to to add water to it, but do we put it in there? Let, first? We're gonna pour it in here and then we're gonna try it as is. Okay. And then we're gonna try it with water. Okay. So I just say do some all right dumpins <laughs> of the whiskey. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, there was a little piece of fuzz. Okay. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is okay. There's like barely any booze in that jar. <laughs> this is like it did yeah, we that's right. We ate the wood last time. It's 125 proof. So where did, uh, I mean, <laughs> nothing. I don't, have, I don't have no questions. I'm scared to rub my face now. I just got some on my finger, and I think if I did that, I might go blind. Maybe. Rub my eyes. This is the, okay. <laughs> so uh, we're just going to try it like this. Um, oh, just like without any. I think we should. Okay. And then add some water to see how it mellows out. Fair enough. So we're just going to kill our taste buds right at the start of the season. Right. So that everything else, we can't taste at all. Whoop. How's that sound? Look at all that wood, man. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to reach across you and grab a couple of these shotsters. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. So I'd like to start by saying that um, we'll be using these skull shot glasses. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm not going to fill it all the way up, but the skull appears when you put the beverage in it. Okay. But also I if we want were to drink all the... a little bit less than that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because you poured yourself quite a bit. I'll just do this then. Now we're gonna, our table is gonna turn colors. Actually, can I use this napkin? Thanks. Okay. All right, so. No fear. No fear. Here we go. It's not terrible. <laughs> it's real strong. 
Um, it is definitely aged. Oh, it's burning in my chest. You can feel it all the way down. Mm -hmm. huh, it is really strong. It's, uh, um, I think mm -hmm. that we need, with, we need the water because I think yeah. that it is, it, it is unpleasant. <laughs> so here's the question. Do we want to fill it like halfway, all the way, like what? Maybe to the, the label? The label. Ugh. I mean, that wakes you up or knocks you or, out. Right. Like that. So now we've made it less strong and hopefully more palatable. But this is good because I've been running low on my whiskey. So now I've got some I have whiskey. Extra. All right. All right. Just and a little bit more. Oh, oh yeah, it like is just oh like oh down my chest. Oh, do you want to um no? <laughs> Oops. Is that enough? That's not enough. Hold on. All right, there we go. All right. <laughs> so hopefully this will be more easy drinking, chilling on your front porch, whiskey sipping okay, life. Sure. Yes. And it is. It's better. Yeah. It's, it's way, goes down a lot better. It's good. Okay. So, uh, overall experience, it's definitely, um, been a fun activity, mm -hmm. like testing at the different, um, times. Had we not been recording it, I wouldn't remember how this differed from the last time, but, uh, I mean, it's cute and it's a <laughs> lot, like we said, it's a lot cheaper price point than the actual oak barrels that are small that people sell mm -hmm. for aging your bourbon. If you don't know what to get somebody, this is a good present. <laughs> yeah, especially for somebody who's like into that. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't get this for you. But no. But I, but. Because uh, you don't drink a lot of whiskey. Man, not the, because the I don't love you. The flavor of this, I still feel it. I had a sip just a second ago and I can still feel it sort of charring its way down. <laughs> like Sherman burning his way down to the sea. Oh. You know, uh, they changed my street name when I was growing up to Sherman Avenue. Um, and then it was like, oh, why'd we get named after the guy who burned everything? I, live, I grew up in a Civil War town. Oh. I feel like I should justify that. <laughs> I've gone too far. Say what the whiskey has done to me! <laughs> anyway, we named our fish moon. Sherman after General Sherman and many years later. So, oh. you know, whatever. Risky whiskey. <laughs> so this was a great gift um, from our friend Pete, and it has been a lot of fun, and it's given us three episodes. And um, yeah, what do you guys think? You guys like it? Yeah, I like it. So so. I get a little bit more like there's a caramelly taste now to it. That's like I think it's it's got a more it's got more complexity than I think that you would think from something like this. Yeah, like you might think, oh well, it's just pretty much straight up. It's just whiskey. Eh, it's not so great, but I mean. It, you might think it's like a bottom shelf type of whiskey, but it's actually, I, I've given me a little bit of complexity there where I, I did not expect it. You can sip it, and it would also be fine in a cocktail. Mm -hmm. It's not like super high quality that I wouldn't want to mix in something. What I'm looking forward to now is like letting this mellow out a little bit without the wood chips and with the water. I bet in like another couple weeks, this will probably be really tasty. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Risky Whiskey, fun experiment and a good time. <laughs>